Hey, guest, and welcome back to the Rogers House. This beautiful Santa, I have had uh, the same amount of time. Uh, these are actually tree toppers, and so what I do is I stuff paper in uh, the center of them to make them stand up. Something like you know Walmart bags or tissue paper or anything that will make them stand up. put this tall Santa right here because if I put him over um, underneath the overhang then you really can't see his face that is why I placed him where I did and so then next I'm going in with another Santa that I've probably had probably about six or seven years uh, so these are fairly new um, and then I am going to be going in with this beautiful Santa that has on the plaid uh, fur jacket. And I'm going to place him right over here to the right. Then I'm going to go in with this black and white portrait of a Santa. I'm going to place him right in the center on the second shelf. Next, I'm going in with those beautiful, um, those beautiful Buffalo Check sleighs. I purchased those last year um, after Christmas at the at-home store for uh, actually, I think it was 90% off. So I picked up two of those. And then I added the two sitting black reindeers in front of those. On the third shelf, I went ahead and put in my shelf um, Santa. Right beside it, I placed my Santa that uh, is holding the gingerbread um, cookie and the hot chocolate. Now, you probably think I should have put those in the kitchen, but this is my Santa room and I wanted to um, have all of my Santas together. Okay, so then next, I'm going to pop back up to that second shelf, and I am have some Old World Santa. I have two Old World Santas that are just alike that I'm going to be placing on each side of the black and white um, Santa portrait, and then another Old World Santa that has the year 1924 and Spain on it. And um, the thing that's so ironic is that Mom was born in 1924, and this is actually from her collection of Santas. So I'm going to place that one right in front of the black and white um, Santa portrait. So next I'm going to be putting the construction worker Santa along with the fisherman Santa beside each other um, on the right hand side of the bottom shelf. I'm kind of staggering the looks of the Santas on the bottom shelf so that you can get a really good look at all of them. So then I'm coming in with that beautiful plaid uh, wall sign from that I purchased from Pop Shelf and it just says have yourself a merry little Christmas. Next I'm going to be bringing in Fireman Santa. 
So next I'm coming in with uh, another old world Santa that is holding a tree or that is standing behind a tree. I'm going to be placing him on the side with the workman and the fisherman Santa. And then I have these two books. Uh, one is red and white. Um, there's like no relation to Christmas uh, with that book, but it was red and white. And then I have that. Then I have the Merry Christmas Baby um, book that was given to me as a gift on probably about four or five Christmases ago. And I'm going to be placing that on top of the red and white book and then I'll put those right in the center on the bottom shelf. Now last but not least I'm going to be placing Mr. and Miss Santa. So I've had this um, little couple for about 20 years or, or more and I'm going to be placing them on top of the books. Then I have some some red and black buffalo check gift boxes that I'm going to be placing in each one of the sleighs. The little red truck with the tree on it, it lights up and has different kinds of, it has multicolored lights in it, but it's so, so super cute. And I'm going to be placing that on the top shelf, uh, just right in the center underneath the uh, Days to Christmas sign. So, Alexa, turn on Christmas. Okay, so... I'm letting you see a closer look of my cabinet with all my Santas in it. And like I said, I at my home, I put things up and then I do something, I come back uh, and do something I call finishing touches. So this is not how it will be finished off, but you have to come back and see my Christmas home tour and you will be able to see just a few more embellishments to complete this look. So guess I hope you enjoyed seeing how I styled my Santa cabinet today and if you did, please leave me a comment down in the comment section. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I hope you will consider becoming a guest of the Rogers House. If you're a returning guest, I appreciate you so much and love you and thank you so much for your support and your kindness. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I've uploaded more videos. I want to thank you all for visiting the Rogers House.